Welcome to another episode of Tragic and Terrible Targaryens. Hopefully that super clever title for this series will distract you from the fact that I have once again not moved on to the Stormlands like I'm supposed to in A Song of Ice and Fire lore. This video I actually want to talk about a Targaryen that is much more tragic than terrible in any sense. I wouldn't say she's terrible, but I, I would assume there's at least one person in the world that would consider her terrible, I, I don't know. So this video's tragic Targaryen is Princess Gale, born to King Jaehaerys I, the fourth Targaryen king to sit the Iron Throne, and Queen Alysanne Targaryen. And if you watch my Viserra Targaryen video, Gale is the younger sister. So let's talk about Gale and why she is such a tragic Targaryen. Born in 80 AC to 44-year-old Queen Alysanne, Gale was the 13th, yeah, the 13th, and last child of the king and queen. She was called the winter child for the season she was born in. Obviously it was currently winter, but also the fact that the queen was in the winter years of her childbearing years when Gail was born. And when Gail was born, she was a very fragile and small child. They feared she would die like some of her other siblings had before her. But thanks to a septa and a grand maester, Gail was watched day and night until finally she reached her first name day and the gods were thanked for the little girl surviving. Despite surviving and continuing on, she would continue to be a very fragile, pale child, but she would also be sweet and shy, so they kind of went hand in hand if we're doing stereotypes. This sweet and shy child, even at the age of seven, became her mother's constant shadow and support, even sharing her bed at night, after the queen's third daughter died in the space of five years. Gail was one of her children that pulled her through her grief. And she stayed at her mother's side much longer than any of her other siblings. For about 13 more years, Gail stayed at King's Landing, being the shy, sweet, but fragile girl that she was. Unfortunately, she just wasn't shy and sweet. She was also a, a little simple-minded, which meant she could be taken advantage of. And unfortunately, she was taken advantage of in 99 AC, after Aegon's conquest, when she was about 19 years old. Seduced by a traveling singer, she became pregnant and then was abandoned. Which who knows why he abandoned her, maybe he left her before he even figured out she was a princess, or maybe he knew she was a princess and feared what the ramifications, the punishment would be for a commoner, a, a, a mere traveling singer, sleeping with royalty could be, which was probably going to result in death. And then them hiding it and sweeping it under the rug. Regardless of why he abandoned her, he did and this devastated the young princess. Eventually, Gail gave birth, but she bore a stillborn son. Not being able to handle the grief of losing her lover and her child, she walked into the waters of the Blackwater Bay and drowned herself. No one actually knew the true story of what had happened. The king and queen told everyone that she died a summer fever. It wasn't until King Jaehaerys I and Queen Alysanne were long dead that the truth actually came out, that young Princess Gale was seduced, impregnated, left, and after delivering a stillborn, she couldn't handle the grief. After Gale's death, Queen Alysanne would head to Dragonstone and stay there for the rest of her life, no longer being able to stand being in King's Landing. So there is another tragic and or terrible Targaryen, Princess Gale Targaryen.